Howdy folks, from Lake Superior Big Top Chautauqua at the top of Wisconsin, welcome to another episode of Tent Show Radio. I can't believe another year's gone around us at a big top I see there high above the ground, Valley Hoo. Oh, Valley Hoo. Support for Tent Show Radio is provided by Travel Wisconsin. There's a million ways to have fun in Wisconsin and no reason not to. Visit TravelWisconsin.com and plan your trip today. And now, here's your host of Tent Show Radio, best-selling author, humorist, singer-songwriter, and intermittent pig farmer, Michael Perry. Howdy folks, and welcome to Tent Show Radio from Big Top Chautauqua. Our featured performers on today's show are the Dead Horses. We'll also welcome Big Top Chautauqua alum Corey Carlson, a Beatles cover by the Blue Canvas Orchestra, Right around the halfway point, I'll tell a story about entropy and a pole barn. Folks, the music you're about to enjoy was recorded in a special space in a special place. The Big Top Chautauqua stage stands square and true way up toward the tippy top of America's dairy land, just two sips of coffee shy of Bayfield, Wisconsin. If you think, as I did for all those years Dad made me wash the milking machines, that Wisconsin is nothing but cheese and cows and cheese. Well, I hope you'll wander up Bayfield Way and see for yourself some summer the deep green Apostle Islands and deep blue Lake Superior. Or buy a homegrown apple pie in autumn. Or brave the slush for a fish fry. Whatever the season, it's beautiful up there in Bayfield. You ought to come on up. And once the sun goes down all summer long and into autumn, There's no experience like a live show at the one and only Big Top Chautauqua. Check the schedule and get your tickets at www.bigtop.org. And now, via beaming and streaming and theater of the mind, let's get a taste of tonight's main attraction, Dead Horses. Sometimes I wish I was a leaf Sometimes I wish I was a tall tree Sometimes I wish to be a deep sea swimmer Sometimes I wish I was a rock Sometimes I wish to be a tall corn stock
Dead horses, folks, and they will ride again shortly. Our next musical artist grew up in the very shade of this tent. Corey Carlson is a singer-songwriter, a solid rocker, and as widely as he has played and traveled, he always sounds like he belongs right here. We're happy to share him with you now. Here, ready to roll, Corey Carlson. This is everybody. 
Here's a little song about my grandma. Some of you know it. It's his own favorite this last winter. And for you that don't know, she, uh, her name was Marie, and they called her Snooks. And she, <coughs> she could cook anything. She's a very good cook. And, uh, and she didn't, you know, didn't have a lot of money, but she could always make more and more. She could figure it out. She'd take potatoes and fry them, and she'd put bread in them. And yeah, she was just, she was this really amazing woman. And uh, so, it's a great title, Snooks Could Cook. And, and uh, it took a while to write the song, actually. So I had to, you know... But it, it got written, that's the bottom line, I guess. So. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with this one. So anyway, this is called Snooks Could Cook. Chicken fry, mashing those potatoes. 
Corey Carlson, folks. Well-traveled and homegrown good. Now we return to our featured artist, Dead Horses. The music of Dead Horses is driven by the soul and story of front woman Sarah Voss. Raised a strict fundamentalist in rural Wisconsin, she watched as the church expelled her pastor father when he was unable to heal his mentally ill children through faith alone. If this is a recipe for bitterness, you won't know it from the music of Dead Horses. Rather, Voss, singing from a history of humility and rebellion, of faith and doubt, conveys a strength and empathy earned throughout a thousand hidden battles. Here now, the power of dead horses. Big tap, Chautauqua, how you doing? To see y'all for making the trip tonight and coming out, we're, we're very, very happy to be here. In the arms of a lover, in the arms of your son You lay your breath heavy, you're not anyone Won't you sit for a while, won't you rest yourself You know it ain't such a shame to have lost yourself you know it ain't such a shame to have lost yourself
person needs a place to rest her head place to put her burdens down to rest I think I'll join the working class and I just want my work to last tell me now is that too much to ask tell you're there, so thanks so much for being with us tonight. It's a pleasure to be here. We've heard about Big Top Chicago for a long time. And it's a pleasure, folks. It's a real, real pleasure. This next song is an old throwback for us, but we just kind of did some reworking on it. And we got Jamie Gallagher back here to start us off. Sorry. They didn't tell me about the set list change. We're not doing that song. But anyways, enjoy it. This is a new song. <laughs> there's holes in my shoes and there's a light inside of you I can't quite recognize. Children swimming in the leaves I can't quite recognize. They're suffering Oh, you know, my darling dear There's a light that takes away our fear Oh, you know, my darling dear It's okay to be happy here It's okay to be happy
to how such suffering tell me what you think I think we're born to live in love and count the endless stars above while we're here listening to Tent Show Radio. Dead Horses and more to come. Listener, I've been rolling north to the big top for a long time now. Got more favorite memories and we got shows, but once per show I share one. This time, this time I'm thinking about the moon on the waters of Lake Superior. Sometimes after a show up here, if I'm staying around and the lunar charts and cloud cover come together just right, I like to stand at the edge of the big lake and follow the trail of moon-kissed wavelets straight out on a trail leading to the Earth's main satellite. It's one of those moments when smallness and infinity and wonder and stillness all converge. And rather than feeling insignificant, you simply feel a part of it. Yes, sir. In matters far less poetic, back on my home farm, the snow is mostly melting, which means the battle of the pole barn is set to resume. First of all, because I sometimes get emails, where I come from, a pole barn is a shed constructed of corrugated steel nailed to a framework of poles and rafters. We have two big ones. They were here when we bought the place, left over from when it was a fully operational dairy farm. One was intended to shelter large machinery, the other to store giant piles of shell corn. Another pause for usage. While some will lobby for shelled corn out of a didactic sense of descriptive specificity, if you wish to blend in down at the feed mill, I guarantee you want to go with shell corn. First thing that happened the moment I laid eyes on those pole barns a decade ago was I had a vision. And the vision was this. My old pickup truck, my mother-in-law's tractor, some miscellaneous mowing and tilling equipment, a smattering of lumber stacks, and my tools, all arranged as neatly as a museum display, with broad paths of access to and between everything. Well, sure. Allow me to present a proposal having to do with universal physics. The junk-sucking vacuum created by an empty outbuilding is directly proportional, nay, exponentially proportional, to the size of that outbuilding and, in fact, may exert a pull equivalent to that of a black hole capable of causing the Earth to collapse inward upon itself. Now imagine two of those right out there in the yard. About three years into our residence, both pole barns were stacked, wedged, and cluttered to the walls with all manner of treasure and detritus. After failing to locate the battery charger that winter, come warm weather, I attacked the problem with broom, shovel, and shelving. Such a deep, contented sigh I let go as I stepped back to admire the neatness, the museum restored. Four years later, unable to reach the shelving and return the Christmas tree stand to its off-season place, come warm weather, I rented a dumpster the size of a New York garbage scow and filled it to the max. Another few years have passed. 
The warm weather isn't come full force yet, but the snow is ebbing. Even as I type this, I swear I just saw the disrepaired chicken tractor over behind the corn crib creep a foot nearer the pole barn, drawn by the specific gravity inherent in the structure. The last time I went down there, it was to get the chainsaw, a process which required a combination of excavation, sideways walking, and general spelunking. Come warm weather, it is once more unto the breach. It occurs to me just now that based on the formula I have proposed above, the cleaner those pole barns get, the greater the danger that I may be struck by incoming objects. Our trash can, the neighbor's combine, a dwarf star. As a precaution, I will wear a hard hat and leave a couple of busted lawnmowers, a roll of unusable fencing, and several empty cans of 10W30 motor oil in the corners as a buffer against the implacable forces already at work, even as you toss that busted lamp toward the dumpster, but feel it bending slowly back towards you on an arc of light and time. And now the arc bends toward more music. In this case, our Blue Canvas Orchestra, with a Sgt. Pepper's medley from last year's Big Top Beatles show, featuring Corey Carlson on some of the lead vocals. Off you go, BCO.
made the bus in seconds flat Found my way upstairs and I had a smoke Somebody spoke and I went into a dream The Blue Canvas Orchestra, ladies and gentlemen. And now we hit the home stretch with Dead Horses, a band whose music Rolling Stone has referred to as living somewhere between the church, the field, the back porch, and the library. And tonight, we're happy to say, a big old tent. Dead Horses, everyone. Mama told me, she told me so, so I won't go, no I won't go, my mama told me, she told me so.
Thank you all very much. We fooled you on that one a couple times, huh? It's a song inspired by a Walt Whitman poem, favorite of mine. The song is called Water. Support for Tent Show Radio is provided by Travel Wisconsin. There's a million ways to have fun in Wisconsin and no reason not to. Visit TravelWisconsin.com and plan your trip today. And by the Bayfield Chamber and Visitor Bureau of Bayfield, Wisconsin. 
Barry Capital of Wisconsin, Gateway to the Apostle Islands of Lake Superior, art galleries and studios, orchards, shopping and lodging, online at bayfield.org. And by the Bayfield Inn, located on the shoreline of Lake Superior, downtown Bayfield. Proudly hosting Bayfield's visitors for nearly 100 years. Rooftop deck bar and events for all occasions, online at bayfieldinn.com. From the top of Wisconsin, Tent Show Radio is a production of the nonprofit Lake Superior Big Top Chautauqua. Tent Show Radio is produced by Austin Hamilton, Michael Perry, Jamie Hansen, and yours truly, Philip Anich. Big Top Chautauqua's 2018 summer season so far includes John Hyatt and the Goners, featuring Sonny Landreth, Buddy Guy, and Keb Moe. Well, folks, that's our show for tonight. Whether you beam it or stream it, we thank you for listening. We're as grateful as a guy who realizes if you flip that pole barn upside down, it's just a big old dumpster. We'd especially love it if you'd come on up Bayfield Way or down or over or through for a show. Details always available at bigtop.org. You can visit me anytime at sneezingcow.com. Until next we share the air, remember where I come from and here at Ten Show Radio. Nobody ever says goodbye. They just say, well, I suppose.